Good morning, and welcome back to another PA Live Show. It's Wednesday, October the 20th, 2021. It's a beautiful, breezy, sunny day here in South Florida. And let's see who's going to be in the day. All right, well, let's get this quickly out of the way. Uh, like, subscribe, share, follow, hit that notification so you know when I'm online. I said my good mornings. Um, we're st I'm still working on the AMT custom pumper um, that Jeff Keith, Paul Lovelace, Rob Shugru, and myself are doing as a buddy build. Uh, Paul is complete with his, so I won't be posting his until uh, myself, Jeff, and Rob are all also as well done um, with our kits. Um, then I will post everything for everyone to see. Alright, well, we'll just wait to see who pops in and says hi. I am also on Messenger for those of you who need to know that. Um, I'm going to get you guys off my screen just a little bit. Alright, I'm kind of just kind of centering it here. It's not a big deal. Um, let me go ahead and bring up our icons. Um, anything you see up in the right hand corner is going to be exactly what we are subscribe to we are on uh also uh, a couple of more which i'm not going to worry about right now just so everybody knows um again this is my version here um i'm just going to kind of like roll it around so everybody can kind of get a good look at it um i probably should put it on my spindle let me do that so easy for you guys to see let me get my spindle set up there guys i'm tight anyways i hope everybody can hear me okay um Again, I know that Paul Lovelace is complete with his build on the AMT custom pumper that we're doing a buddy build on. I'm pretty sure Jeff Keith is pretty close to being done. Not probably not fully done, but pretty close to being done. All right, let's see if I can do this without really messing up here. Um, I did a couple of changes to what it shows on the box art, so I'm off box art, I guess. Um, but here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and... Kind of just balance this up here, and I'll take it off in a few minutes when we start to work on it and people start to show up. Um, but just so everybody can see, good morning, sir. What is beeping? What is beeping? I don't know what is beeping. What is beeping, dude? I have nothing beeping here at my house. Not to my knowledge, then. Why? Did you hear something beeping in the background here? Can you hear me? Mr. Rob, good morning. <laughs> uh, morning buddy I don't know what is beeping what is beeping dude well there's my phone that just went beep but he just said good morning to me so that was that beep that was a bell though not a beep um, I don't hear anything beeping on my end let me turn my volume up I don't hear anything um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up another browser and go to the live show and see what's going on um, all right, well, let me go to the live and see what's going on, see what we can find. So that should take me to my plastic addictions. Let's see what we got. Um, I do not know what's beeping in the background. I hear crickets outside still. And I see, plus I see Facebook's having a bit of an issue, but otherwise, I don't hear anything, bro. I'm going into the live show now. Yeah, you may hear a little reverb, because I'm going to go in and watch the show live here for a second and see what I can find out. Bring it up on a different browser page to see what we can find out here. All right. I'm going into the live show now. Yeah, you may hear a little reverb, because I'm going to page to see what we can find out here. All right. I'm going into the live show now. Yeah, you may hear a little reverb, because I'm going to page. All right, I got no beeping, Rob. None. I got zero on the beep, bro. It's got to be on your end somehow. Good morning, Mr. Buddy. How are you, sir? Glad to see you in. Glad to have you here, bro. Good morning, Ed Armstrong. Good morning, sir. Glad to have you. Uh, I'll keep listening, but I'm 
I hear nothing. And when I went to the live and I uh, turned my volume on, I heard nothing on my stream, bro. Um, and like I said, here I got nothing but other than ringing in my ears, which is normal for my tinnitus. So, um, well, welcome everybody. Um, this is um, one of probably 50 of the uh, TMA live shows we've done here in, in the past few months. Um, I think it's been like six months we've been doing this. Um, I'm Joe. I'm the admin. For those of you who are here who don't know me, um, I know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Good morning, Stephen. Um, I know Ed hasn't been to a show, so Ed, I'm Joe. Uh, anybody else? Hey, Stephen, good morning, brother. How are you? Uh, we're still working on the pumper truck. I'm going to wait for um, Jeff to pop in and see how he's doing. Uh, Rob, how are you doing on your build? You said you just had some um, minor uh, chrome and um, little accessories and stuff to add on. Just, as you can see, so do I. I got all my stuff laid out here. This is all I have left to put on the pumper, um, along, except for my dog's hair. Um, <laughs> um, what else was I saying? Dude, I lost it again already. My goodness, guys. Okay, anyways, here's my version. Uh, when Jeff comes in, I'll find out where he's at. I'm not going to post any more of the build pictures until all four of us are 100% done with our kits, and then we'll just do a uh, unveiling of all of them at the same time um, on one of the shows, probably the by the end, either by the end of this week or first of next. Um, but here's my version. Um, of course, I got to show mine because I, I'm, I'm building here. So um, I'm hoping you guys are still working on yours. Um, I did a few different things than most people do. Uh, I did two different color hoses here. Mine's got an upgrade. We're up in the, you know, we're in the 21st century, guys. So guess what? Yeah, me too, Rob. I got, like I said, I got all this to do, plus this chrome rail to do, plus the decal still to do, bro. So we got a few days, man. It'll be first of next week before we have to worry about it, Rob. Um, but mine's got a, my, mine's got a new day fangled upgrades, a couple upgrades. Um, my orange hose here, which you guys can see here, I'll show over here. My orange hose here, um, is for foam for car fires. Now you guys got to think about it now, you know, we're building these things in the 21st century. So, you know, they have had foam for a very long time. Uh, so I also went ahead and re-chromed and touched up my engine cover area, retouched my engine cover area in here, put my um, handrails on. Now they were showing the handrails going on top. I did not like that option, so I put it on the side, on the inner side of the cab. Yep, yep, yep. I understand that I'm going to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. My wife said I could, and I'm going to start working it out. Uh, what Steven's talking about is him and I are getting ready to, um, I guess we're going to do a steampunk build between the two of us. He's going to do one. I'm going to do one. So, um, I'm going to use my Mac. I don't know what I did with it, Stephen. I bring it down and show you. I put it up there. Uh, this is my. This is what I'm using, and I'm not sure exactly what car he's using, but this is what I'm using. Hopefully, I can get it down. I've already started pulling a couple parts off, so it's not all. It's not all. As a matter of fact, you can hear the parts falling that I had on the back of the truck. Yeah, um, I started pulling parts off, but this is what I'm going to use for a steampunk build. Uh, Stephen and I have decided. I guess we're going um, to. We're going to do a steampunk build. Uh, each of us. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use my R65 Mac. Um, that should be pretty cool. Um, that'll be down the road uh, before I get that started. He's collecting stuff. I got to get the Hobby Lobby and collect a few things as well. Um, but for the most part, um, my main my main portion is built. As you see, I was starting to take the pipes off and everything else of that thing. Um, I took a couple of the battery boxes. I took a battery box off. I took a fuel tank off. That kind of stuff. You're doing a 32 Deuce steampunk. Okay, cool, cool, Stephen. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm going to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning, guys. So the the show might be late, but I will um, show you guys what I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm hoping to get glue, and I'm hoping to get my fire hose for this build, um, and glue for the future builds. Upcoming and future builds are going to be, let's see if I got them all in here or not, did I pick them out. Um, all right, tomorrow's show, okay, here's the Rio. This one's coming up, we're coming up here, this is the Diamond Rio. Um, let's see if I can get a better picture for you. See if I can get a better picture for you guys. Let's see what we got here. Those are just build picks. Yep. All right. Hang on, guys. I'm going to try to get a, so you guys see what we're, what I'm building here. Um, I guess not on this one. I guess it's on my phone. All right. Well, that's the way it works, guys. You know how that works. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Got it. All right. So this is what I'm working on. Hopefully it's not too big and doesn't blind you guys as soon as it pops in. Um... Oh, look at how small that is. All right, so this is basically what I'm working on. Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Transform, and I can move it counterclockwise 90 degrees. There we go. Okay, guys, there we go. All right, we're good. All right, this is going to be the next build up. Um, I'm jonesing to do a rig, guys. Um, I'm. I oh, that's cool, Steven. I'd like to see that, buddy. Oh, you're heading to Heavy Lobby today? Okay, well, let me know what you find out, where you find it, Steven, so I so I know where to look. Because you know me, I'm an old guy, and I'll search that place for an hour and a half, two hours, and not find one dang thing that I need. Um, I know I'm looking for some cogs. I know I'm looking for some tubing. Um, I'd also like to find, like, some skull heads or, um, I mean, that's not really steampunk, but it is kind of thing, you know what I mean? I'm, I guess I'm, I don't know. If that, uh, well, once I get there and see what I can find, I got my map truck in my head, so I'll know exactly how we're going to do that. Um, so, well, anyways, guys, I'm going to remove the Rio now, so that's that's going to be the next thing up I build. Once we gather and once um, Steven tells me he's got everything and I've got everything, um, stay tuned because I'll be doing um, a show on nothing but the steampunk builds. Um, I guess Steven will be, hopefully Steven agrees to that and sends me pictures and we'll start showing uh, how, how we're doing. Um, we're not doing anything exactly alike, of course, as you see, he's thinking about doing the 32 and building his own, um, uh, and I'm using my Mac. Um, so the builds are going to be totally different, a car and a truck, and our different styles as well. Just like we did here with the uh, pumper truck, uh, there was four of us that built it. And believe it, guys, or not, all four of us did a different paint job. Um, and no, we didn't discuss who was doing what and why until we actually decided on it. So that just worked out that way. Um, I will do this. I will give a little hint on everybody for the uh, the gentleman that is, um, Ed is th that hasn't been here. We are, um, mine is red. I will tell you that um, Jeff Keese is black and red. Rob's is yellow and Paul's is green. That's as far as I'm going, guys. So when you guys want to see all those, you're going to have to come out first of next week when I'll be posting all of the builds here as well as starting the next build. So that'll be probably first of next week, guys, okay? Uh, shout out to my guys at the Model Asylum, Sam Stokes, Paul Lovelace, appreciate you guys hanging out and taking care of everything for me when I'm not around. Uh, uh, shout out to my buddy Dave at Dam Paint Body and Detailing. His information will be in the uh, description when I'm done with the video. Uh, guys, go get him out if you have any body work you need to be done, detailing, painting, Clark clean needs to be cleaned. Um, go give him a shout out, um, tell him I sent you and... Um, Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. I hope your mom's okay. Um, I've been there, done that. Um, my mom is now living with my brother. She did live with, with us for almost five years, um, my mom and my dad. Um, they got well enough to go back home, and they went back home. and um, um, They did pretty good for a few years, and my dad passed on, so my brother lives up there uh, in North Florida, so he took care of my mom. Um, he doesn't have any kids in the house. He's got the room. He's got the extra room, um, that kind of stuff. Um, my house is full and inundated, and she can't get up my steps. Um, we rented another house many years ago um, to get them into because it had, you know, rooms big enough and doorways big enough for their wheelchairs and walkers and stuff. So, anyways, um, I hope your mother feels better, brother, and I appreciate you coming here. I um, would love to see the rubber duck build. That would have been great. Um, yeah, I know, Stephen, you showed me um, from Leo's Hobbies. I know I'm, I'm going to try to look at... Um, Hobby Lobby while I'm there, see what I can find there. Like I said, I know I'm, we're going with a steampunk thing, so uh, and I got a lot of I got a lot of area to cover um, and make it look from front to back proper. Um, I've got a few reference pictures, Stephen. If you need some, I'm, I'm sure you can search the internet and find them too. We didn't have this when I was younger, um, but we're going to be doing that as well as we got a in the house. We got a couple more builds we're doing. Ed, if you want to come by and check them out, that'd be great. Um, Ed, we are also on YouTube. We are on all four of the icons you see up in your corner of your, uh, up in the corner of your screen. Um, we are also, well, at least it turned on me. Gee, it was Dolly with Juetta because I got the dropsies again today. Oh, all right. We're also going to be doing this build, 32 Gangbusters build. So that'll be coming up. I will be trying to do it in a little bit of the box art. You know, guys know me. Uh, Ed, you don't know me very well. I start doing box art, and it ends up not being box art. And you're welcome, sir. No worries. I do hope your mother feels better, and I do hope everything works out for her. And I just spilled water. Nothing new there, guys. All right, well, I got water out to do decals today and a few chrome parts because I saw where the chrome parts were going to lay, and some of the decals are going to be uh, in the basic area of where I need them to be. So I am going to... Um, do some few decals today and probably a bit of chrome. I want to put the mirrors on 
uh, get that kind of stuff done. Um, but before I really do something stupid and wreck this, I just wanted you guys to be able to get a whole view of it without me having to pick it up and move it around. Um, so everybody's got a different one. Everybody's got a different bill, so come check it out. Um, um, Jeff, um, I um, stole, when you come in, I stole your idea with the axes, bro. I did the nice chrome tips on both sides. Um, I also did a little bit of detailing on my pick. So that's about it. I, oh, I changed my beacons to flat square beacons instead of the old-fashioned round ones like around the back. Anyways, what else did we do different? Uh, that's about it, guys. And I went with the yellow and red theme. And like I said, everybody else so. So that's about it. So this is where it is. Um, I have some pictures, updated pictures, I guess I just heard, that Rob sent me, I think. Let me go over into my messenger, guys, and see what I got in there. Maybe I can pull one up. Uh, let's see what we got. Here we go. Oh, wait, Rob's already got some decals on. All right, cool. All right, so no full body pictures yet, guys, other than stuff that's being built and on its way to be built. Um, Rob, if you shoot me a full, a full, oh, you did St. Joseph's too. That's what I'm doing, Rob. Perfect, man. That, well, I guess that's going to be the same because my other, my um, my ladder truck or my boom truck, um, cherry picker fire truck has um, Joseph's on it. Um, actually, I didn't even see it there. I think it was Paul that pointed it out to me that it said Joseph's on it. My middle name is Joseph, so it worked out good. Um, we're also going to be building this eventually, sooner or later. Um, I also have coming up, we're still working on the Freightliner scratch build camper that I'm building, motorhome, whatever you want to call it. Also, as well as the uh, AMT Kenworth tractor that I'm trying to find body, hood, and, ah, excuse me, body, hood, and sleeper for. Um, what you guys heard me doing is I'm stretching backwards to try to um, get the box so I can see it, so I can make sure I'm doing it right. Um, anyway, we are all good. Oh, and I got an oopsies for you guys. Uh, night before last, I was um, painting touch-ups, and I had the bottle in my hand, and it was open, and I was getting ready to set it down, and as I moved my arm and my wrist, my wrist shocked me, and I dropped the bottle, and this is what my instructions look like now. Isn't that awesome, guys? Sheesh. Anyways, that's the oopsies you missed the other night, and that cleanup was from my living room all the way into my kitchen, including my kitchen sink and my floors. Um, trying to get this in there before it did too much damage. Um, yes, I got it out of everything, including the grout. Now, I got a little bit more water there, guys, so let me dry that off because I just spilled water. Gee, was golly, gee, that out of the way. All right, so again, I don't edit my videos. You guys get to see me live. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing considering as much screw-ups as I do now and then. Um, let me go ahead and flip this over on this side. All right, cool. All right. Now let's get this back where she goes. All right, so we're going. To, I'm going to go ahead and put the check the decals and see what I'm doing, where and why. Um, I have the decal schematic open here, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put the Josephs on the side. I see a bunch of other stuff that I really want to do. I really decked out mine and lots of decals because I had um, the set that came with the kit, and when round two sent me the instructions, they also sent me a, 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 a new decal sheet. So I had two of them. So I really did all these lines and stuff. So we'll show you what we're doing. Um, <clears throat> I save everything, man. I even say the I even say the prices. All right. So there's your decal sheet. There is an unboxing of this on YouTube, guys. Just so anybody anybody wants to go see it. So, but yeah, there's the only oopses that I really had, other than knocking my bumper off three times the other night. I mean, I literally knocked it off three times. I mean, right back to back to back. Put it on, let it set up, glued up, knocked it off again. Same thing. Did it again. Put it, glued it up, put it back on, and knocked it off again. Cleaned it off, of course, and cleaned it all up. But I did some chrome touch-ups as well. Um, I noticed that a lot of the where the screw connected in didn't look so right, so I did that. So let's get let's go ahead and just do the Josephs because Rob's already done his, so I want to do mine. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna do the city of Troy. I'm not gonna do those. So I'm just gonna cut right up down here on the lot, on the letters. Um, and I don't know what other decals. Oops everybody else is using um, but I am definitely going to be using all of the door panel strikes there's like door panel strikes here there's the lines here and all of the corner beads um, I'll also probably put a truck number or an engine number on it and the rest of this stuff's going to just go on my um, 
I'll put the American flag on it and the license plates on it, but that's about all I'm going to be using on that decal. Other than these Josephs, which means that this comes off, boop, and fire department, what does that say? It says Troy, which is in Michigan. Cool. It was there. Lived in Madison Heights for a couple of years. Oh, I just saw I heard a picture drop. All right, so we're going to tilt these individually one by one. I'll do the drivers. I'll do the passenger side first, and then we'll go from there. While that is going on, anything, anybody news? Anybody got anything they want me to announce? Any new baby arrivals? God, you guys, I'm too flat. Oh, cool, Stephen, cool. Shoot me a pic, and I'll put it on the show tomorrow if you want. You know me, I'm always willing to do that, bro. If you want to see it on a video, shoot it to me. If I can get it in, I surely will. I mean, I, you know, guys, I, we, we have, you know, 2,000 members, and I don't think I can put all of you up there. And we'll almost do that combined. But um, if you guys shoot me once in a while, you can keep an eye out, because I will put your pictures up here. Um, also, if you got a business you want me to throw a shout-out to, I'll be glad to do that, too. It doesn't bother me, none. It's YouTube. It's Internet. It's free advertising. It works for me. All right, so I'm just trying to find all of my tools, which I can't seem to get. Oh, there's one. Okay, I'm looking for that. And I'm looking for a specific little tool that I use all the time to do my decals, but I can't seem to find it. Of course I can't find it. Probably because it's not in the right place. All right, so we got that ready to roll. We got that ready to Oh, I need my, I need my decal brush and the smaller one. So these are never used for paint. So we brush it off a little bit first to make sure there's no dust or anything on it. All right, so uh, that's about it. Everybody still in? We're all good? Shows that I have two viewers. Who did we lose? Or are you guys incognitos? Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm not getting anything big like that until I move into, um, we're, we're planning on moving in a couple of years um, to Tennessee, and I'm hoping to be able to get a room of my own, because right now I'm in my living room. I really don't want to take up, well, I'm in my dining room area, area really. Um, I don't want to take up any more of my living room space from my wife um, with all this. So I am waiting to go any bigger than we are right now. I got several things planned for the very near future, well, not near near future, but a couple, within the next couple of years um, that we're planning on doing to make this make the group a little better, make it easier for me to do things, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's about it. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, so what are we doing? We're doing decals. And I don't have, so I'm going to get my little dabby brush here, get my little wet brush, which is this one. It's my wet brush. The one you can see I use just for water. It's all nasty, dirty. Let's not do that one. That looks dirty now. How about that one? Yeah, that one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I get quiet when I build, guys. You guys are welcome to talk amongst yourselves, ask questions. I'll look up every couple of seconds. But I'm sure everybody knows that when you're doing stuff like this, you really got to try to make sure not to mess it up, so to speak. All right. So first thing I want to do is wet the side of my truck. So like I said, I'm hoping Paul chimes in and Dave chimes in. And um, Jeff chimes in. So I didn't. I did put a notice out one hour, just like I promised everybody before I did the show. All right, this is where my light's gonna come in handy, guys. So I hope I don't blind you very much. Uh, I use this little tooth picker because it doesn't have a pointed edge. It's got a little flat of an edge, so it doesn't poke anything in the into the decal. And it does kind of grab the decal nicely rather than having a point on it and just going through it and ripping it or something. All right, so there we go with that. Um, I got the door handle on this side. I don't on this side because it dawned on me that I was trying. I was going to put um, decals on the door, and I didn't want to mess up where the door was going to go. So now, that being done, so let's see. Let's get the other side done. Around. Normally I do one side at a time, but I'm going to do one decal at a time this today, guys. Um, we're going to do one side, then the other side, just to keep us moving and give us something else to look at on each side. Um, I also need to add a white stripe around the front of my truck to match my other 
fire truck. So I'm going to have to be pulling out a bunch of my white stripes um, and marrying them together just to go around the head of the truck because that's the way I got it on my other one. I want them to match. So there's that thing that I got to do too. I'm also going to be looking for uh, shoelaces to use as hoses in these two compartments. Um, this one will probably be like a, a, a red or a black, and this one will be a black or a white hose. I'm not sure exactly which. Um, but you guys can't see my nipples that great. My nipple, that didn't sound good. The hose nipples that well. Um, I was hoping to be able to, you know what, I brought this out here to try this. See if this helps out for you guys to see it. Yeah, let's see if this helps. I thought there was a different color, but there's not. I um, don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably not. How about if I shut this off for a second? Uh, not really. It's not really that great. But I did the nipples. I'll show you guys pictures of them later on. Um, you guys know, for those of you who know me, know that I take a buttload of pictures of all my builds so that later on down the road, I can use them for reference on any new build. I just dropped one of my, well, uh, just one of my boards fell off. Sorry, guys. All right. Put it back on the board over here. There it goes. I gotta redo the tape and stuff. Alrighty then. So now we should be ready to do the second one. Um, I am definitely gonna be using most of the lines and most of the door um, markings. So be aware of that. So the things that I won't be using on the decals, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off. I like making mine in little squares so I know exactly what's going where. And it kind of keeps them in the line of, okay, I need to put this one here, now I need to go to that square. Um, and you got to excuse my shakes. And uh, Ed, you ain't been here, so you got to excuse my shakes and my dropsies. So I get that all the time. And it actually makes for an interesting build most of the time because you never know what I'm going to drop, when I'm going to drop it, or when I'm going to spill it. Um, trust me, if you guys would have saw my shakes the other night, I don't know why I went that way. I wanted to go this way because I want to go straight up first. All right, I'm just trying to trim out my decals that I'm going to use and then put the other ones away so they don't get damaged. All right, so that's basically what I'm going to be using on the build. All of these plus the two Josephs. So that's basically all I'm going to be using on the build. Um, hang on, let me check what this thing says. Okay, that says Pumper Troy number 6 or number 11. I'm going to go with Pumper, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this up as well. Because I like that for the license plate, Pumper on the front. It will say Pumper. All right, now up in here. Like I said, I'm just trying to cut them down so they fit in my... So excuse me for a minute. And I'm going to be using these as well, so I might as well cut them off. Right, so there's those, and the pumper word for the license plate. I like that. That's cute. It kind of gives you what it is. All right, so there are those. Okay, so these can now go over here in my on my little letters for my thing. Let me put that over there. All right, so this should fit in there too. This one as well, right? Yep, this one as well. And there's this. There's the decals that I'm going to be using, guys. That's about it. So you guys can see them over here. That's all I'm using. The other ones go right in, went right into the decal stash, which I have, like I said, two other books of. Um, I may pull out the, my decal book and pull off the other set of decals out of there just to make sure I got enough of the lines that I want, where I want to go. I don't think I used them all on the last truck. All right. Get my brush. So. Everybody had a good Wednesday. Everybody had a good Tuesday evening. All right, Ed. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out. Like I always say, if you can't come in and stay, you can't come in and stay. If you can come in and take five minutes to say hi, that's an awesome thing, bro. I appreciate it. Always watch it later on on YouTube if you need to. Oops, wrong way. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, that actually came out pretty good. Okay, so I could have put the I could have put the door handle on before I put the things on. It wouldn't hurt nothing. All right, so we got that. All right, so now um, I need to look here, and it's showing me to do. Okay, 
Okay, so I don't think they gave me enough in the num in the letters to do Fort Lauderdale, did they? Oh, maybe they did. Individual. Jesus, Christopher Columbus. Maybe I could do Sloop, Florida. I'll just do Florida over there. Florida. St. Joseph's Fire Department, Florida. That's what I'm going to do. So I will be using some of those after all. See, I'm doing something different. So see, that adds another day, by the way, just so everybody knows. Adding that name Florida here with those individual stickers, those are one at a time, those those numbers, guys. Just remember that. You start yanking them things off thinking it's going to be, you know, a line of run. Uh -uh. It's one at a time. All right. So we got that one done. So here you go, guys. I don't know if you can see it if I put a light on it. Probably not, right? Nah, it's too much light. Sorry, guys. All right. So, keeping on moving, keeping on moving, keeping on moving down the road. All right. So, now, <clears throat> it shows double fin stripping spears. Okay. Okay, so double pin stickers. Okay, cool, got you. Okay, 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 got you. Okay, so these are called double pin sticker decals. But it says striping, double pin striping. Okay, so we're going to do that, so hang tight. I'm going to individualize each one of these because I'm going to have to do that. Rob, did you do all the fancy um, work around all the doors and stuff? Are you going to do that? Well, I'm glad to hear that, Stephen. I really am, brother. I really am. I'm super glad to hear that. So I'm just still trying to cut up my decals where I'm going to do what with them. All right. So I know I need to cut these individually, so I cannot let them stay together. So I'm probably going to do three at a time, though, figure out where three of them are going to go on one side, and then just do three at a time, because that's, that's the way they are on the... Decal sheet. There you go. I like that on the decal sheet, so that's the way I'm probably going to be doing them. All right, so now this one says double pin, spears, double pin striping, double pin striping, spears, double pin striping. Okay, so we need to, I'm going to go work on the front here now. Um, I got my headlights in, I got my blinkers in, so I can go ahead and do that. I don't have the bell or nothing on, so I don't have to, to, to I'm not going to drop anything that way. So, okay, so it goes in between here and here. Okay, so we're going to use a smaller one. So I'm going to need to use my light because I don't want to cut off the small pin, spin, uh, the small one. And I'm going to measure each one of these first. Well, I'm not going to measure. I'm going to kind of dry fit each one of these first and cut them down to where I want them. This way I can just come back and put them on. And I'll just wait to do each one as I do it. Okay, that should take care of that. So now I'm just going to take this into here and put this into here. And then I'm going to kind of mark it here. Go a little bit further than it's showing. Yeah, so that should do the good for the top piece. I can always trim it into place, right? Yep, okay, so we're going to do that one next. So I'm going to do what it's showing in the front, and that includes putting the little cinder heads here, which are going to be two of them on this one. So I'm just going to cut out three of them, and then I'll cut one off. So I don't do too many, as you guys know. That's a big thing when they put these things together like this. You've got to be very careful with this one, too, because you'll cut the other thing and it won't look right. One of the corners and it won't look right. All right. <clears throat> so now I need two corners. So there's that. I got the top in there. So now I need to measure the side. Let me straighten this back out because I made it a little bit of an angle to get next to the... Oh, dude, don't go there, man. Like I said, go to the model asylum. Go into the stress room. <clears throat> Take a, to take a couple of models, throw them up against the wall. They're not yours that way, and you don't have to worry about repaying everything, paying for everything. Now, I don't know how they're figuring on this, but I guess that's the way they're figuring on it. And then we get the corner to go in. So I'm just going to go here, and it's going to have to go like that, like that. I guess that's, I guess that's the best I'm going to do. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna okay, so I'll have the top and one side as well as the two corners ready to do. Okay. And later on, like I said, I, I still got a crap as you see, I still got a crap load. I'm making sure that's still set. Yeah, I mean I still got a, a bunch of parts to do. I mean I got all my little orchid lights to do, I got my license plates to do, my all my all I've only got four of the or six of the actual handrails that they gave you onto it. I have uh, lights in the back to do yet. I've got all these lights up here to put on yet. I've got the mirrors to put on, the bell to put on. So I'm, I'm a ways away, Rob, so. Uh-oh. Time to put the glasses on. Okay, and I need two of these because one goes on each side, so I'm going to need two of these. So which way does it go? It goes up, spear goes up there. Yep, spear goes up there. Okay, so we're going to do that spear up there. So there's one. And that spear goes up as well. So there's two. Just got to remember that that bubble goes up. Okay, so there's those two. All right, so now we got those two. So we'll have the front completely done. I have to cut the other side. So I just want to make sure I didn't. I don't cut something that, I, that I've already cut and ready. So that doesn't look like it's cut and ready. Those two are cut and ready, okay. All right, let's see if we can get that one on the top piece where it's supposed to go. I'm trying not to blind you guys with the light, but I do need it because I am blind myself. Oh, look at that. That came off. One of my, one of my dang blinkers came off. Dang it. All right, where's my glue? Put my blinker back on. I knocked my blinker off. Hey, 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 hey. Chill out there. All right, a little dab of glue here and there. Try to get it back on without doing any good. All right, set that over there for now. And it goes this way. Son of a gun. All right. Back on. Straighten it up a bit. And we'll see. All right, what did I drop? And what did I drop? Oh, the beeping you're hearing? I just realized what the beeping is now that you said it, Rob. Hang on. Nope, not for me. I thought that was my coffee pot but it's not. thought it was my coffee pot. It's not. I've still got, like I said, a lot of chrome detail. Oh, there's my battery box for the um, Mac. All right, so let's see. Still got all those left. I'm going to put these up there because I don't want to mess them up. All right, so we have some cut. I want to get these two in there as well. Um, so we have the side of the top cut. So we should be able to get the side on first. Get that over here, over here, and maybe a little dab there. Okay. All right. Let me get this top piece on first. And the smaller stripe goes to the bottom, guys. Smaller pin strip goes to the bottom when you're placing these straight decals, these two line decals. Remember that all over your build because these are going to connect all over your build. Yeah, I couldn't have done that any more perfect if I did it myself. Oh, 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 oh. Now that I talked all that trash, watch everything just kind of fall apart here right in front of you guys. Alright, time to get my eyes lower, guys. Alright, not quite where I want it. Just a, just a hair on this one. Try to make it straight and centered. I don't know how straight mine's going to be, dude, because I bend a lot. I, I lean a lot, so you all know that. But I try and. All right, so next one is going to be the downside, and then we hook up the little corner piece that I stuck in there last. The two little corner pieces. And then, I think, once I get the other down piece and this down piece on, I think it's just the two here that I have here. What do they call them? Spears. Right? Yeah, Spears. All right, and then this is going to be for the other side, used for the other side coming down as well. All right, and that would go to the inside. So then the arrows would go to the, the 
smaller line would go to the ins. Oop, I'm about ready to knock off my bumper again. All right, there we go. It should be good. Guys, if it ain't too straight, I ain't gonna die. Oh, it's off way off over here. All right, that's good. All right, let's get this sideline going. Sideline's going to be the shorter one, unless I put the wrong one in the water, which I don't think I did. But I very well could have. All right. So, now I need this over here. All right. Oh, there's stuff in there. All right, there we go. So there's that. Now let's see if I can do this without messing it up, guys. Alright, so now... I don't know, did anybody else notice that they give you directions on where to put something, but it does not always fit in that spot? Or is it just me, guys? Am I just a fool that has a problem with that? Let's probably put that up. See, that's going to be a problem because that's not going to line up and that stinks. So I need to get this out of here so I can get those on so I can line them up. That's going to be the hardest part, guys, I think, is getting everything around your lights in the front. All right, so now we need one of these, right? I guess two. Oh, man, I didn't cut that thread. All right, time to do some sketchy blank, sketchy blank, sketchy blank. See if I can get away with it. Because I didn't cut them right. Oh, it almost worked. I'm almost there. Oh. I gotta remember these are individuals. I forgot about that. All right, come on. This is gonna look like a hair that's holding it still. You got it yet? All right, we got it. All right, here we go. A little bit more water because I want to be able to slide this one around for a minute or two. Place this back so I get more light in the spot that I need. All right, so in order for this to work, it's gotta go that way. Oh, actually, guys, that's going to be pretty badass. you got to line those two up just right, though, and it looks like it's perfect, like it's supposed to be like that, guys. All right. Yes, I'm still playing with it because every time I get it right where I want it, guess what happens? I chatter. There we go. Alright. That's going to be too high though, I think. Yeah, too high. Hang tight. I'm going to bring this back. Turn that whole thing back. There we go. I think once I get this corner into position, Everything else will look nice and straight too. All right, I'm liking that. All right, now I'm going to do the spear that goes on this side, and then and the bump goes up. So I'm going to put that one on, and then I'm going to put both of these in. Then I can do both of those, and I'm going to do the line on the other side now. I cut. On this, I marked on this side and cut it, and then I put it on this side because I wanted it to match both sides, that's all. So when I cut this one, it'll be the same. Right, right. Everybody got that? Right. And so now I'm going to do this one here. And really, I'm just going to eyeball it. It should do pretty good. If I have to trim it, I will. That should do it, though. And save all these little pieces because they work good for, for what they call couplings. I can always use those as a coupling later to cut and make one on each side. 
All right, so I'm going to put that into it. And then the front ones will be done so they say. Um, <clears throat> there's custom. Okay, so we can put those there too. Okay, that's what they're showing. Okay. Didn't see that. So let's try to see if that works out for me. Or do I have to trim the thing? Need more water. Need more water. Need more water. Oh, no. Is that right, Drop? Yep. Run it. I don't know. I, I don't know, Rob. I don't know. I would I would have thought they'd come in too, but it is Wednesday, it is middle of the week, so they could be very busy and I'm not gonna I'm not worried about it. They can see it later. I don't know where the normal crew is. Maybe everybody's mad at me. I don't know why, but maybe everybody's mad at me. Nobody loves me anymore. <laughs> now this one's been a little pain in the... So I guess it's just us, guys. All right, there we go. There's that. And that's the way that's supposed to go. Once these dry, I'll take the center piece of this one out. Okay, so I need another one of these. So there was supposed to be four. There's supposed to be two in the center, too, so I need another one. So I did need all of them. So I did one, two, three, four. Yep, I need another one here. And then I'm going to need another one for the other side of the chamber, the line that goes across the front. So I'm going to take this over here. So, Rob, I don't know, babe. Just me and you. We'll keep building, babe. I don't know. Maybe they're... thought I saw Jeff in here just now. Isn't Jeff in here? I just thought I saw Jeff. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Buddy's here. I know that. Okay, it's just me now, shows. I guess nobody's here other than you. Me and you, Rob. Steven left, I guess, unless he's just not viewing it. Yes, I heard the beep now. It's uh, my refrigerator's telling me to replace the um, water filter. Glad you freaking heard that because I didn't hear it. Yeah, Steven, me, and you, Rob. Ed left. And um, that's it. Actually, it shows one viewer now, so I don't know if I lost everybody. No, go move along, bro. It's okay. You don't have to stay, babe. I appreciate you coming in and saying hi. Seriously, dude. Don't wait your chores on because, you know, life comes first, babe. Plastic next. Now, don't get me wrong now. If you got nothing to do, plastic is a good thing to do. But if you got other things to do, babe, just like me, I went and did my lawn. I had to. I had no choice, bro. It's either that it was going to kill me. I have to do stuff in the mornings. Um, I can't be out there in the heat in the afternoons, dude. I, I'd never make it through. I, I really wouldn't. Um, and my wife worries about that. So I promise her that I don't do stuff after the show. Um, I rest. I relax. I don't do anything. So wait, let me see which way the show is facing. Let's see if that's facing up. That would go on this side. This one would go on this side. But I don't mind it being just me and your rub. Maybe we should close out the live feed and just me and you go into a, a room and hang out and talk for a little while. Yeah, that's my refrigerator. I just heard it again, dude. 
Man, I'm so... <laughs> That's unbelievable you could hear that, Rob, but I didn't hear it. I did not even hear it, bro. Seriously, dude, if you gotta run mow your lawn, you go run mow your lawn, brother. I sure as heck don't want to be one to prevent anybody from doing anything they got to do. I appreciate you coming in. Like I always say, if you can spend five minutes, great. If you can spend the hour, great. If you can only come in and chop up and chop out, that's fine too, brother. Whatever you can do. If you can't do it at all, I'm not I'm not mother with that either, bro. You come when you can come. I am not that type of, that type of YouTuber or that type of streamer. Um, I will still stream. Like I said, you guys can check it out later. You won't bother me a bit. Man got to do what a man got to do. All right, so now I'm going to lower mine just a hair more than they're showing because I want it to be right at the edge, just like that. So it's only showing just a little bit of red underneath it. And I'm going to kind of keep it straight with the chassis area. There we go. All right, that means this is going to come down. So I'll shoot a picture to you, Rob, when I'm done here with the decals. I can do that from my phone fairly easy, and then it'll be able, and I'll be able to grab it from here. All right. So now, what am I waiting for? I was waiting for the side to be done. I think, right? That was what I was doing next. All right. So next is the side, and then I got to do the corner piece on that, and then I will count the decals up that I had to use on this one. And just the front end, dude. This is just the front end work. Did you get any of the front end decals done? I'm not copying you. I did plan on my name is Joseph, so I did plan on making it Joseph. And by the way, you asked me what's with me in yellow. What's with you in yellow? <laughs> Your rig looks great, brother. I appreciate you building with me. And see, I'm not rushing you. We get it done when we get it done, brother, and we'll stop. When we're both totally done, I'll stop showing stuff, and we'll stop. We'll move on to the next thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're going to get cold up there soon, brother. I forgot about that. You're up north. Oh, my goodness. Yep, you got to send me some pictures of some snow. What I'm going to be moving into soon, I hope, anyway. Right, so I got that one ready now, so let's go ahead and put that one on. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that in your face, brother. Oop. See, here we go, Rob. You didn't miss that dropsy. Get it up without it sticking to the mat. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. So that's this one now. So let's go ahead and get my tool. What did I do with my tool, guys? It is. Let's go ahead and put that into place. Let me only have the side of the one. There we go. All right, so that's on that, and that's on that. This actually looks pretty cool, Rob. It's Mr. Lovelace. Good morning, welcome to Plastic Addictions Anonymous. What the heck can we do for you? I need more plastic. Right? <laughs> go to go to the go to the model asylum. We got plenty of rooms for you to go hang out in and find some. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Uh, still driving. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. Been on the road since eight o'clock. We were just actually talking about you and Keith, trying to figure out where the hell you, where the heck you guys were. I know. I saw the post. <laughs> yeah. I was in the bathroom and the phone dinged and I'm like, what? We don't need to know that. Hey. <laughs> you, uh, you okay, brother? You asked. Doing having a good day? Yeah, actually, yeah. I'm just running. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm all over Cincinnati this morning. Now I'm heading to Dayton. There you go. Make your day go by quicker, brother. You got that right. So I'm just. I didn't know if I'd catch you or not at eleven o'clock. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna do it for a few more minutes. It's just me and Robin here right now, and um, I'm not sure if um Stephen is still here. But we had Stephen. Um, a new a newcomer came in. Ed Armstrong, I think it was. Yeah, Ed Armstrong came in today for a little while. He was on for 30, 40 minutes, forty five, thirty minutes are or so. You, are you in PAA or are you in TMA? I'm in PAA today. TMA is only on Sundays. I can't keep track of you. Well, that's because I got all the crap to do, man. I am Who's all. Old is that? I am <laughs> all over the place. You're all over. I'm everywhere. 
When you least expect me, I pop up. All right, so mine's basically, my decals on the front are basically done. And it looks just like the box, so good. All right, next is some sides. We're going to go down the side now because I'm done with the front the way they're showing it. Right, right, okay. Are you, uh, you, you done? You just decaling now? Uh, no, I got a crap load of, I got a crap load of chrome still to put on, but I'm doing some decals just to kind of like take a break from gluing and stuff. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby in the morning and look for some uh, stuff to use for hoses and um, grab some glue. So, but basically today I'm just putting some decals on where I can, and then I'll probably touch up some of the chrome that I already do have, that I already do have on. So that's my, that's my thought and idea anyway. I'm not positive that it's going to work out that way, but it might, it might, you never know. It might just work out that way. Right? Well, Rob's a little far, a little further behind me, so that's good. You know, him and I are going to do, once we're, you're not dead last. Uh, Rob says, Rob told me to tell you to leave his plastic alone. <laughs> so yeah, we're just, we're just taking our time. Um, he's, he's about, no, he's about where I am. Him and I are, him and I are probably about right at the same place. We, uh, we both have, so the, the, the truth be you known, with him taking his time, his will probably be the best looking one. Probably. There you go. I am just trying not to, you know, I've already, I've already spilled red paint on my instructions this morning i spilled water so i'm doing my best to take my time so i don't do anything that's really you know a bad thing to happen to the kit the build you know i, got now, I can't remember if it's paa or tma but one of the posts of my fire truck done yeah some guy blew up with a bunch of photos of his fire trucks yeah i saw yep did you see the last comment no, I probably I, I probably did, but with all the comments and all the loves that I did today and checking everybody out, I'm not going to remember one specific one. What did it say? It said, nothing like hijacking a post. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. There it is. Yep. I don't care. I thought they were all cool looking. They are cool looking. I agree with you fully. I, I need to get my tanker out decaling. <laughs> yeah. You need to fit, uh, you need to finish that damn dump truck is what you need to do. Quit whining about the that, dump truck. That dump truck's in the box. Yeah, I know. I know. You're going to need to pull that sucker back out and do what you're supposed to be doing, man. What the hell kind of plastic addicted person are you? I don't know. What the hell am I supposed I to have, use that one? I have enough kits. If I get mad at one, I can put it up and grab a new one. <laughs> well, I do at the moment, but I'm going to I'm, but I'm gonna run out soon. <laughs> Well, I wonder why you got 84,000 running at the same time. You're right, I do. I have seven running at the same time. Six or seven running this, at this very moment. You're right. And I'm getting ready to start another one. Why don't you just start them all? That's pretty much what will happen once I start this next one. <laughs> That's pretty much what it will be. Every one that I have will at least have something done on it. Uh, Jeff's here. Jeff says, hey, Paul. Hey, Jeff. All right, I'm going to have to trim that decal. That one come down just a little bit over, just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. That's good. All right, so now i got to trim that one real quick so that it matches the other one. St. Joseph. Of course. Just like my other one, just just like my just like my cherry picker. Now, whose idea was that? Well, I already told him that you told me where it was. <laughs> You're like, I don't know what to put on there. I put, put Saint Joseph on there. I didn't even realize it was on there. I told you that that day. I didn't even read. I didn't even catch that. <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I did. Saint Joseph's. I already got those on. Ooh, wrong one. <laughs> Striping it. I'm doing the spin striping now. Yep, that's what I, that's what I'm working on now. And I think Rob's pretty much as close to that too as well. I didn't put any pin stripes on mine. No, I didn't notice that. Yeah, the only thing on mine are the is the uh, Maltese cross and the uh, name. Oh, I got you. 
Yep, I'm um, I'm striping the whole thing out. And I changed a couple of things up. I put an orange hose on one of my spools to be as foam, and I put um, a black one on the other one for water. I'm going to get a white hose and a red hose for certain length extensions. The color code will be the length of an extension. Depending on what color it is. All right, so that takes care of that. For what, the hose reels? I thought you did your hose reels. I did, I did them. I got one orange and one black, but I have some. I want to put the flat hose in. I want to go get some flat hose. And I'm, go, uh, and I'm going to Hobby Lobby tomorrow on my way home from the doctor, so I'll be able to. Uh, so it ought to be pretty cool when I'm done. Cool. So yep, I, I last night I did a little bit. I did a little bit of chroming after I talked to you last night. Not much, just just kind of moseyed around with it, um, touching up the ladders, that kind of stuff. You got chrome ladders? No, no, no. I did some chroming and touched up the ladders. Oh, okay. So yeah, no, no, no. I also redid. You know, you'll see it, but I also redid my hoses that go on the side of the truck. They are now black. So the side what are you actually. Um, the yellow was was a little much on the sides because I put yellow and red on and green on the um, um, control panel. The yellow was kind of taken away from that. Uh -huh. To me, the you know the color just was it was it was um how should I say um it was clashing so to speak. Overbearing. Yeah, it was overbearing. overbearing. So I so I so I decided just to you know because I did use a little bit of goldish chrome on a lot of stuff. I decided to go ahead and um, just paint them, repaint them. I sanded them down and repainted them. They're already installed. They've already got the end caps on it and stuff. Um, I see I got a little bit of touch-up to do. That. That's, that's about it. We're just doing chrome and decals. That's all him and I are doing now. Cool. Well, I got some touch-ups to do with the chrome, of course. You know, the handles and stuff where you cut it off the sprue and that kind of stuff. Um, hey, I, Jeff, I love the stripes on the back of yours, bub. Those look good. That's Paul's car is the turn signal, yes. There ain't no turn signal going. Rob says the only decals he's doing is just the Joseph's decals. I do yeah, not like know. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Why? Did you get two sets of fenders in your kit, Rob? Jeff, no big deal, man. You come in when you can come in. I'm trying to read messages and get back to you. Uh, Tell Jeff I like the stripes on the back of his engine. They look good. Jeff, did you hear that? I think they can hear you, brother. Uh, yeah. And yes, the blinker you were hearing was Paul's car. Evidently, he was making a turn. Yes, he did, Rob said. Okay. No, I'm just one of them old guys. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop for a minute. Stop for a minute. You got two sets of fenders in your... Wait, you got two sets of fenders in your kits? In your kit? Neither one of... what? Yeah, Rob says he got two sets of fenders in his kit. I I didn't. Did you, Paul? No. Nope. No, nope. Jeff. Did you, Paul? He says thank you. He didn't know how it was going to turn out, but it does look great, Jeff. It looks. I think good. I've already went in and did my love on you. <laughs> All right. So now we got the front. Now I'm just going to kind of go down the side and do what the hell I want to do. Do you hear me about the turn signal? What's that? I said no. I wasn't turning. I'm just one of them old guys that drive down the road to signal on. Right? One of those dummy signals. Turn your light off, dummy. Yeah, I hear you. All right, so now I'm going to do some of the lines, which are pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to be doing those yet. There I get the big ones. Oops, do I do the big ones here? No, it's going to be the small ones. Oh, strips. Yeah, I like, the, I like the way they accented my other truck. You saw my other truck. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way it accented my other truck. Well, yeah, I mean, the red, I didn't think the gold would look so good on the... On the green. Oh, it might, dude. It might, it might cut the green of you know in half, you know, making it look different, you know, give it a more of a, um, give it more of a um, detailed look. Eh, I like it without. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing door decals at the moment, on this side. I got my, yeah, I got my guest cap in. I got everything in. I got my steps in. I redid the, I re, I told you I was gonna redo the top of the um, engine cover sides. I redid those, chrome those, rechrome those back out. Um, and that's about it. And Jeff, like Did I said, put... I Jeff, I like I told you, I stole your idea about the, with the axes and picks. Hang on, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, but I went ahead and last night detailed the axe. 
and the handle. I did them all. I did this one yellow. I did one on uh, uh, um, chrome. I did one red, and I have a full red handle one. I also went and detailed my I detailed my pike. Really good. You guys can see that. Oh, the engine. No, the pike. The pike stick. Pike. Yeah, that's what I said. Can you hear me? Oh, you you're saying pipe. Keep, 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 get your, well, that's your hearing, bro. Get your clean ears out, brother. And besides, I'm Floridian. I speak Florida. Yeah, you speak cracker. <laughs> that, yeah, that's true, too. I speak Florida cracker. That's for sure. You're right there. That's for sure. I will never argue with that. Now we're going to get banned from Facebook. <laughs> probably. You're right. Probably. You're right. And it'll be all your dang fault. Maybe we'll get a notification. <laughs> right? They'll probably send me a notification telling me I did something wrong. Yeah. You know, I didn't do a dang thing. All right, so uh, what is that? Okay, so that's chrome. Okay, so this says put your... See, I'm not going to... See, see, I was going to put for, Florida on it in the letters, but then I decided that, you know what? I'd have to use those letters one at a time and make them line up. That ain't going to happen, brother. Take a ruler. Yeah, I know. I got a square. I got a small ruler. I know. I know. I also, I, I, you can also use the edge. Yeah, you can also use the edge of a. You can also use the edge of a um, a piece of paper, a piece of card. You know what I mean? Like when he, like, used his alphabet. Yeah, I know he did. It I know he did. Good. But if I'm not mistaken, Jeff's twenty years younger than I am. Maybe not. How old are you, Jeff? Well, so, well so you got to do the price of eggs in China. Well, that's got a lot to do with it when it comes to my eyes and my hands. Magnifying glass, big boy. I got one. But the problem is, well, problem is, I need one of my hands to hold it. <laughs> I'm going to Hobby Lobby. Mama said I could look around and see what I could find for, that I wanted for Christmas, and she would try to get it for whatever I needed. So I'm going to go look at some lights, and I'm going to go get my tape and my, um, or my um, hose and my, <clears throat> excuse me, glue today, tomorrow on my way home from the doctor. Again, let me remind everybody, tomorrow's show. We sound like a scene out of, we, Jeff says we sound like a scene out of Goonies. <laughs> 52. So yeah, I got, I got, I got Jeff, I got Jeff by five years, almost six years. So, and I got a, and I got a problem with my neck. So, <laughs> no Facebook. That wasn't a real toot. Got to make yes, sure. Yes, it was. <laughs> you know, Paul, if you get us banned or blocked, I tell you what. I'm gonna, I didn't say a word. I'm gonna drive all the way up there just to come flatten one of your tires. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, but we're doing good. Like I said, me and Ron are pretty much the same place. Jeff, you're still working on yours too, huh? Tom's yeah, Rob's fifty five, so Rob, you and I are close. We're all close. We're all within five years of each other, dude. That's, that ain't long at all. I mean think yeah. about it, you know. How old are they? Uh fifty five and fifty two. Who's 55? Rob. We're the same age. Yep. I'm the oldest. Yep. Yeah, I'm, the old, I'm the old guy. I'm the old guy in the group. Grandpa. Right? There it is. No, not yet, thank God. No, not yet. Oh, my God. Not, Paul, hold your damn tongue. Don't even freaking go there yet. Uh-uh, nope. That's going to have to be after I move and after I'm ready to be just nothing but countryfied. I'm going to need my front porch, my moonshine, and my wheat. You know what? That's it. I'm going to start. There it is. I'm going to start. I'm going to start smoking a corn cob pipe, walking around in overalls, not shaving, not bathing. They want to call me a Florida cracker. I'll show them what a Florida cracker is. Because <laughs> I'm going. I'm going in here. You're gonna get in trouble. You keep it up. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Well, tomorrow, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna be late, but I will be on. Um, we'll just do a little bit later of a show. Uh, I have, like I said, a doctor's appointment. I want to make sure I get it out of the way for the month. Oh wow, Rob's been a Rob's been a grandpa for 11 years since he was 41. Wow. See, there's your damn grandpa. <laughs> Not me. Don't look at me. Not yet. Uh -uh. Nope, nope, nope. Not yet. 
You neither, Vic. You neither, Paul, right? You're not a grandpa yet either, right? Paul, you're not a grandpa. Yeah, no. you're... No, I didn't think so. Thinking I, did, did I, did I was thinking... Not I missed, yet, anyway. Right? I was just thinking, did I miss something? <laughs> so, no, no, no. No grandpa here yet. Please, God, not yet. I'm not ready for that yet. I got too much plastic to sling. <laughs> and everybody the knows... Generation. And everybody knows with little kids... That ain't easy to do, and it ain't easy to keep them alive either. The models, I mean, not the kids. It's not easy to keep the kids alive either. It ain't easy for the animals either. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And we plan on having chickens, goats, cows. Yep, we're going to be a real Florida cracker. You can't be a Florida cracker and then, in and then, Tennessee. And then, my, and, then my new, and then my new YouTube stream will be the real Florida cracker. <laughs> That crazy white boy from down south. <laughs> Better be careful. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, uh, you Jeff's a grandpa. Jeff, you're a grandpa? I think Jeff just said grandpa, eight years old, eight months old. He's oh that's right, he's got a baby. They got a baby. Oh, cool. Eight months, yep. They have a There we go. Alright, well that's not too bad, guys. I don't mind that. The way this looks. So I'm good, I'm getting I'm good with that. I got one more to put on on this side, and then I'll flip it around. Um, who was it that did the 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 side of the truck, the passenger side of the truck? Was it you, Jeff, that did this that did this box over here, the red box over here with decals? That looks freaking amazing, brother. Just so you know, I'm copying it. By the way, yep. Did what? <laughs> the red box. Yeah, the the red square that goes on the opposite side on the on the passenger side of the truck that holds the other um, mechanisms. The, what is it called, the drainage tube or whatever for the tanks? Yeah. Well, he went all the way around with the striping as well, so I'm following his lead. Hey, Dano. Hi. Hey, Danny. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you, young? I'm good. Somebody just woke up. We were up late last night. Ah. Uh, yeah, so no school today? Nope, school's out today. God, I wish I went to that school. He's never in school. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Hopefully he sticks it that way because I want him to do something and learn something. You know what I mean? Right. So as long as he sticks to his, he... as long as he sticks to what he's supposed to do. His job is school. My job is to make sure he stays alive to go to school. Ah, uh, he's doing good. He's a good kid. Oh, yeah, he's a great kid. He's, he's A, B student, 4.0 average. I'm working. It's a great job for me. I can't ask for more than that. No. But then again, all my kids are smart kids. They're smart enough that they don't, they don't want to have to come home and tell their dad that, that their grades are failing and their dad whipped their ass. But That's because they took after mommy. Exactly. <laughs> we, all know I'm, we all know I'm an uneducated Florida cracker. <laughs> I know my son took after mom. <laughs> yep, yeah, and I'm glad mine did, trust me. I am too. <laughs> Dang, there's an awful lot of striping on this. Ain't no way I'm going to be able to use all this striping. Well, you don't have to use it all. But I want to. But I want to. <laughs> okay, so now I need four of these pieces, right? Okay, so it's longer than it is wider. Okay, it looked like it was perfectly square, but it's not. Okay, so that'll work on that piece. Right? That'll work down there. Question, do you guys use hot water or cold water? Jeff, Rob, hot water or cold water for your decals? I use both. I've done both. I like warm. <laughs> uh, Rob says, Rob says, hey, Dan. Hi, Rob. All right, so hopefully I can get, I'm going to finish this up here, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to jump off. Um, peace out. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, come back tomorrow. Like I said, it's going to be a little later. I will, uh, throw a, hopefully be able to get a 30 minute warning out to you guys. Like when I leave Hobby Lobby, it'll probably be 35 or 40 minutes from then. Um, maybe even an hour or so, but I will be back on in the morning at 10. It will be here. No, actually tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow's on YouTube guys. Tomorrow I stream to YouTube. Got that Paul? Yeah. All right, YouTube guys, peace. Everybody have a good day. Paul, you be safe out there, brother. All right, brother. See you guys later. Bye. All right.
All right, Jeff, Rob, I'm out of here, guys. Uh, anybody that I missed that's still in here, I appreciate you. Uh, Steven, I appreciate you for coming in and hanging out. I really do. Uh, I do appreciate Ed coming in and checking us out for the first time. You were welcome, Ed. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, cool that you had to go, no problem. Like I always say, guys, pop in for five minutes, pop in for the hour, um, step in and say hi and run. That's perfectly fine. Um, just watch it later and comment and tell me what you think later. Um, hope everybody has a great day. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, no, I think I I, I want to get the I want to get a couple of the other fire vehicles um, and make them all match. That's that's what I'm trying to do. I really lined out my my bucket truck, so I'm gonna really line this thing out, guys. So, and I like the idea of what Jeff did with his side box there. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Hopefully, I can try to get some on the other side as well to work. That decal wasn't quite ready to come off yet. All right, let's see what this one is. Yep, okay, so we're ready with this one. All right, so Jeff, I stole two of your ideas, brother. And I decided that I'm not changing my hoses, Jeff. I know you didn't hear the beginning of the show, so I'm going to say it again. I am not changing my hoses due to the fact that I like my hoses because it can be an upgrade to the truck. They actually separated the tank into two separate pieces. One side of the tank is for fuel fires for foam for cars and trucks, and the other side is for water for homes. That's my idea of why I did the orange on the other side. If anybody asks me, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, so we got the... Dang, right, man. Okay, there we go. We got the first one in there on the side, Jeff, man. Starting to look good already. See, and there you go. That's why I run two different model groups, guys. That's why I created them, so I could learn from you guys, you guys could learn from me, and we can get stuff done, do buddy builds, we can have some fun slinging some plastic. Yeah, man, I'm, um, I do, I have problems, Rob, believe me, you know that, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I don't, you guys probably can't see the shake that's going on right now, but it is, my hand is shaking. I'm sure Danny will be glad to tell you, yep, his hand is shaking. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> So, and that's my biggest problem is when it comes to these little tiny, that's why I do the little tiny parts last, because they're going to take me the longest, I think. I'm going to do that right. Wait, unless they're that. like really simple. Right, unless they're, you know, unless they're an easy one, two, three to get in place. Exactly, Dan. See, he's been around long enough, he knows that I have problems with my feet, my hands. Very much so. I'm trimming this one down as I go to make sure I don't screw it up. Oh, come on. Of course, what did I just say? Screw up. And what did I just do? Screw it Screwed up. All right, let's see if that one worked now. And that one's not going to work either. Okay, so one more time to cut it. There we go. Okay, that should be the right size. I'm trying to go above the step now, Jeff. That's all. I'm going. I'm going around the step. I don't know. Did you put the step on after you put the decals on, Jeff? You hungry, Bubby? Go get something to eat if you want. Do you want a pancake or do you just want to wait for lunch? I know it's your day off, so I know you don't want to you know, start your day off with eating and doing everything you're supposed to. We'll discuss the rest of the day. You know what you're supposed to do. Okay? All right. Good man. And when you're ready for food, you let me know. And I'll take care of that. Um, I'm not going to Hobby Lobby today. I'm going tomorrow morning on my way home to the doctor, okay? And you know I got my doctor's appointment tomorrow. Yeah. You got school anyway, so you know I'll be home as soon as I can. And then I'll be right there for you. So. Yep, exactly. I shake so bad that it really is a problem doing the, doing the the little stuff is the hardest on me. So I do that last, very very last, so that I mean, especially the little tiny stuff, the mirrors and stuff like that. I gotta do last, man, because the mirrors I will knock off every time I touch the kit. Every time I touch the build, the mirrors will come off. Same, just so it's like what's going on with the bumper. I should have just waited to do the bumper as well. I just didn't think about it. But now that I got it all glued into place, I'm just going to leave it. All right, so that actually looks pretty good, Jeff. Actually, man, that looks I'll shoot you a picture, buddy. What do you think, bud? What do you think? I don't know. Can you see it? I did the front. That's going to get cut out of the middle of there. Once it dries, I'll cut that out of the middle. And I did the front. And the box. And I did the box, I'm going to do this other box, and I'm going to run some other pinstriping through the rest of it. See, it says St. Joseph's. St. Joseph's almost poked in the face. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Just be careful. All right, you go um, do what you're supposed to do. Okay. 
and flip your TV on when you're done with the first thing that you're supposed to do. I guess I'll give you a little bit of time to wake up. How about that? What time is it? You got till 12 o'clock to wake up, then you got to do what you're supposed to do. Fair enough? Right. So you, you got to do your homework for tomorrow? Oh, right. Right. Or for Friday or whatever? You told me you would do that today if I didn't make you do it yesterday? Or, right? Okay, so go do your homework and um, have that done. I'm not... Alright, so that's all there is. You said it was simple and easy anyway. No. So go do the simple and easy stuff. Don't complain about it. Complain about the really hard stuff you gotta do. Don't complain about the little simple stuff. You tell me simple. I can handle you complaining about the really hard stuff. Shoot, I complained about some of your homework. You know, it's pretty bad when you haven't been in school in 40 years. Well, I can't say that because I went to a couple of years of college. But, but when your kid brings home 8th grade geometry... And you took geometry in high school, and you had to do a little bit of it in college. But then he gets onto a question that totally brain farted me. I have no idea what it was. I, I, and it basically it was trying to figure out the ratio circumference of a specific shape, which really blew me the heck away. You know, until my middle son came in and said, "You know what, Dad? It really wasn't that hard. You were making it harder than it was supposed to be." So that's that's a habit I have to do also. I I'm, I'm old, so I there's new ways they do these math now. Man, no way I could do that math the way these guys do it. That's craziness. That's cra just flat out craziness, man. I, I can, there's no way I could do that. I I can only wish. All right, so let's see. We're gonna how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna cut this side off first to make sure that I'm ready to do it. So it's gonna go from there to there. I'm gonna go up to there. I'm gonna go to there. Maybe I'll show it there. Yeah. Flip there, bring it out a little bit. I can always trim it back down. So you put the little corner pieces in too, Jeff, right? I'm doing that correctly, right? The little corner angles? I split it on every day in class. What? Every day in class. I'll discuss it with you in a minute. Okay? All right, so now, oop, that decal leaned a little bit. I just realized when I looked at it. Ah! Sorry about the light, guys. And of course, I grabbed the wrong tool. Guys, what did I just do with my... I guess I'll use that for now. Straighten up, decal. Straighten up, fly right. There we go. And you know what even makes it harder, Rob? Doing these small little tiny decals? Remember, you guys, you're all, both, you're all, all you guys' head that stays on straight on your shoulders. You can look at something and tell if it's level or square with your eyes. I do too, but I have to take away about a half an inch to an inch from my right side because that's how far my head leans most of the time. So any measurement or any square that I do, I have to look three or four times to make sure that it's not just my eyes playing with me, that it's not actually square. So that should be good on that one. I can trim it down. So, yeah, so we'll trim that down there to that. And we'll trim this edge because that's the square one. So I'll trim this edge just a bit. And we'll throw it in the cage. All right, so now I need two, I need one, two, three, four of the corner pieces. Oh, okay. That works for me. I can do that. <laughs> I will. I'm, I just have to reset it. It's got a new one in it. I just haven't reset it. Just my laziness, bro. You know, you get to a certain point in life where things aren't that important. That little beaver, you know, like I said, I never heard it because I'm used to it. But, yeah, I hear it now. I'll take care of it, brother. I mean, look at me, man. I got black paint on my fingernails, man. Jesus, Christopher Columbus. I'm serious, man. You saw the, um, I showed you a picture of the, um, the Rio, right? I showed you the Rio on the paint job, right? Oh. I'm going to bring it over and show it to you again. That came out outstanding, dude. That is going to be outstanding. Look at that paint job. That came out so pretty. I need to, I need to buff it out with a buffing pad. The fenders came out extremely shiny. I really like that forest, that, hunt, that, that hunter green, man. It really made it look nice. 
I really wasn't sure about it. I was really thinking about doing a lighter color. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't because that really looks nice. All right, so now i got to find out places to put these other... Oh, look, I found all kinds... I can find all kinds of places to put these. So let's put some of them down. So let's put six of these on so far. So we'll do six, and we'll just put them... Three on each... Three, six on each side and figure out where to put them as we bring them out. All right, so now I need all three of these so I can put them in. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I can a little bit, but there you go. Oh, there you go. You can see it. I did the upper and the side now. I'm going to do all four corners after I do the bottom and the other side. On the door, you can see I did the custom pumper, or I did the Joseph's. Let's see. If you, there you go. Joseph's. And there's the front end. I'm going to trim the top piece out of the middle when it dries. Matter of fact, it's probably dry enough to do that now. Let me go ahead and do that now while I'm thinking about it. Oops. Joe, your ladder's sticking out. That's a god dang bumper again. All right. Now, I need to trim that out real quick while I'm thinking about it so it doesn't cause me a problem to get it out later. Because while it's still a little damp, I can do it. Believe me, if you guys could just see my fingers jumping right now, every time I every time I try to do something that's just a small object. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now I just need to change that around a bit now, get a little bit more water on it now that I got it loosened up, change it around and make it look great. Alright, so we got water on it now. I can move it around and make it look square and even. There we go, that loosened that one up the other way. Just trying to get the decal to move, the corner one to move. There we go. Now that I got it to move, I can move it over. Get a little cut line. Should be able to do this without ripping it, but it's really giving me a problem here. Let me use this one. Get out of there! Yeah, that's better. Why don't you do that again? Alright, now it's got more water on it. We should be good to go to move it around. All right, so that'll take care of that. I got the center piece cut out as well of the top decal on the front. So now it looks just like the front of the other one. Well, not just like it because they put red lights. Why would you put, I know it's a fire truck, but you put red lights in the front? I just went ahead and put the yellow ones in the front. I thought it would be better. And I don't know why I did the yellow, but it looks really good. It definitely made a difference, that's for sure. Most there, and I can stop touching this one. Don't mess it up. I'm going some water over to stick the two of the two together. Okay, there we go. Look at that close. So it's definitely not that close. Right? Okay. Oh, no, it's pretty close. Okay, cool. Let's make it even there. Yeah, I'm going to move it back just a little. 
I know I'm not talking, Rob. Sorry, brother. All right, brother. I'm done with that now. All right, so I'm going to put this stuff on, and then we're going to call it a day. Yeah, me too. I agree. I have some in my kit, which I'm probably going to use. Um, go check out Jeff's, man. He painted the back of his and put safety stripes on it. It really looks amazing. He really did do a great job. Oops, I'm not working over here. I'm working over here now. All right, I'm staying on till I get these decals on there, Rob, and it's just me and you, and I'm out of here. I am going to get my rest of my day started. Um, I am going to go, like I said, to Hobby Lobby tomorrow after my doctor's appointment, Rob, so remember, it's going to be late. It'll probably be closer to 11 because my doctor's appointment's at 9. So I'll give him an hour and then figure an hour for my way home and going to Hobby Lobby. So I'll, I'll be about, I'll, it'll be about 11 o'clock when I come back in for the live tomorrow, just so you know what's going on. And it will be on YouTube. I may change that, and if I do, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Because I had actually had a problem getting into Facebook at first this morning, but then it let me in, so I, I went ahead and did it. I was about to tell everybody just go to YouTube. Because I can't imagine if I'm having problems getting pages to load, and all my other pages were loading perfect, just Facebook ones. I would think that you guys would rather just me give you um, another place, safer place to go. That's not going to cause you guys to get all jammed up and stuff. Now, I must say that this one is being a challenge. It's my hands because I've been doing this so long now. All right. That did not work out. That is not the right place for that. And that's what it was trying to tell me to begin with. I'm such a dummy. That was over here. Jello Wiza, Jello Wiza, Jello Wiza. This one was over here. I was totally wrong. I was totally wrong. Jesus Christ. Jesus Louisa. Alright, so that definitely goes over here. Let's move up here with my side. Right, that should do it. I need one of these now. Oh man, I did it again. Gotta keep. I gotta remember these are singles. I want to get one at a time. One. Okay, so I'm starting to shake pretty bad here, Rob. I'm not going to be able to do too much longer before I start screwing stuff up and dropping stuff again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish these little decals right here, finish this one corner, and get the stripes on out of there. And then I'm going to be done for the day. I appreciate you coming and hanging with me for the whole day, brother. I hope it gave you a little bit of a, a little bit of a break and got you got you out and about it, so to speak. Um, and slinging some plastic with me. I appreciate you a lot, Rob. You have no idea, man. I do. I know I horse around and call you guys like groupies and stuff, but you know I love you guys a lot. You guys are my friends, and you guys keep me going with this adventure that we're on. So I, that's and that's an amazing thing that you guys do that. So I do thank you from the bottom. I know I paused there for a second. Sorry, I was doing moving that decal. I do thank you. Okay, you rather watch on YouTube? Okay, we'll do YouTube tomorrow then. Not a problem. Not a problem. You're the one that comes in and, you know, I, I, every show, you know, you're my, you're, like I keep telling you, man, you're like almost, you know, like my number one fan, bro. You know, and I appreciate that. I do. Oops. That's a little too long. How the hell do I do that? How the heck do I do that? All right. Now, let's smooth it out. Let's move this one out as well. There we go. All right, so I'm not really liking how that's laying down there, so I got to come down a bit. 
And like I said later on, I'll trim this up again. So how far is it from the top? It's about there. Let's bring this back up just a hair. Trying to make it square too with the head that leans, dude. Do you have any idea how hard that is? Okay, so it's further up than that. It's probably like right in there. The top one here. So we should be able to cover all that. Yep. With one of those. Just check that one. <clears throat> and I got those six things, those six uh, door six door decals that I'm going to do. So, okay, if you'd, like I said, if you'd like to rather have it on YouTube, brother, that's fine with me, man. I like YouTube, too. And besides, when it's done, I'll put it on my 55. And watch it, too. It comes out pretty nice. And I agree with you there. It makes it a lot easier for me to see, too. All right. I like to see the little details in the stuff that I'm doing while I'm doing it. And the t that TV helps me do that. All right, corner piece number three. Oops. Number three, you're on there. Come on now. Come on now. What do you want the shakes? This is gonna be I'm about ready to give this up for the day. Oh, we got it. Oh, I got it. I got it, I got it. Kinda of, sorta of, maybe. Kinda of, sorta of, maybe. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, Bubba, I'll talk to you tomorrow, man. Appreciate you hanging out and staying with me, Rob. I do, brother. I love you, man. Um, don't stress out about being behind. I'm right there with you, brother. Like you see, I'm right there with you. So let's just do it as we go, nice and easy and slow, and we'll get it done when we get it done. I will see you in the morning. Have a great day. Remember, I'm going to be late, but I will be on YouTube for you. I'm out of here, brother. Have a great day. All right, like, subscribe, share, follow, hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I'm doing lives or upcomings. Upcoming unboxing for the Diamond Rio is on its way. Guys, don't miss out on that. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Thank you. It's Plastic Addictions Anonymous. We don't hide our addiction. We take pictures of it and post them for the world to see. Later, guys.